Hello, this is Dr. Liu at Li Time. Eucalyptus has been traditionally used as antiseptic for treatment of、uh, respiratory disease. It is helpful for cold, flu, sore throat, and chest infections. Eucalyptus has a long time been used for wound healing thanks to its antimicrobial, and this is believed from its major chemical called cinnel. Cinnel is the major compounds within eucalyptus essential oil. In this video, I'll talk about the top five uses of eucalyptus essential oil and two ways to extract eucalyptus. Eucalyptus leaves, stems. Fruits and flowers has been used for the extraction, and I'll explain the difference between these parts. And there are many species of eucalyptus, and also give you information about which species you want to choose and what are the difference of the different species in terms of their applications. And at last, I will talk about the side effects of eucalyptus, which you should be very careful. When you are using this medicinal herb, eucalyptus is tall evergreen trees native in Australia, and there are 900 different species and subspecies. The eucalyptus globulus is the most popular species, has been introduced worldwide. It becomes largely cultivated in the subtropical. And Mediterranean regions. Different species of eucalyptus has generally the same group of phytochemicals, but they also have differences in their distribution. Eucalyptus globulus has a major chemical of cinnel, which takes about 80 percent. Eucalyptus、uh, citrodora has much higher concentration of pinene and citronella. One a cinnel, alpha pinene, beta pinene. And limoni are responsible for the antimicrobial properties, and one acinel has also the benefits of anti-inflammatory. Now let's talk about the top five benefits of eucalyptus essential oil. The first one, anti-inflammation. Eucalyptol, also called one acinel, is a strong inhibitor of、uh, cytokines that may be suitable for long-term treatment. Of airway inflammation in a double-blind, placebo-controlled trial, the anti-inflammatory activity of、uh, eucalyptol was evaluated in patients with、uh, severe asthma, and it proved its efficacy of treating the asthma, and a new possible use as mucolytic agent in the upper and the lower airway disease. Second, antioxidants. Free radicals has been believed make、uh, bad effects in our body, including inflammation, aging, and even cancers. Antioxidants play critical role in eliminating free radicals in our body. Among the various tree species, the essential oil from、uh, Eucalyptus globulus has the highest antioxidant activity. Essential oil. Can be extracted from a leaf, flower, and fruits, but it proved that from the leaf of Eucalyptus globulus has very good antioxidant behavior. This gives us information. If you want to choose some Eucalyptus plant material, and if you don't have a specific requirements, use its leaves. Third, anti-diabetics. Eucalyptus globulus exhibits anti-diabetic properties. The intake of eucalyptus in a fixed amount or concentration of 2.5 gram per liter in drinking water in diet can help reduce hyperglycemia. In a mouse study, it was observed that the aqueous extract of eucalyptus increased the integration of glucose into glycogen by 90%. And glucose oxidation rate by 60 percent, and glucose transport by 50 percent. So these are the promising results. Give us a hint of the use of eucalyptus to help manage the diabetes. However, 
there still need more information to prove it can be used to treat this disease. Fourth, anti-cancer. The anti-cancer property of eucalyptus oil is due to the presence of bioactive compounds such as terpenin 4-OL, alpha-pinene, and beta-terpenin. The anti-cancer properties of terpenin 4-OL were studied on human cell lines introduced with tumor conditions. It was observed that uh, terpenin 4-OL inhibited the growth of uh, colorectal, pancreatic, gastric, and prostate cancer in a dose-dependent manner. But a more clinical study should be done before it can be used as anti-cancer agent. The fifth one is the food uses. Fresh eucalyptus leaves has been used in South Africa to chew in mouth to prevent the gum disease. And the European Council has approved the use of eucalyptus oil at a concentration of 5 mg per kilogram or below in foods and 15 mg per kilogram or below in the candies. The use of volatile oils and their constitutes in candies and soft drinks may enhance its flavor and increase the shelf life of products by the elimination of microbial growth. The consumption of eucalyptus containing candies can help improve the hygiene in the mouth and reduce the growth of a microbial which causing the gum disease. Many studies prove the use of eucalyptus essential oil to increase the shelf life of cheese, yogurt, pork, and fruit juices. Moreover, eucalyptus extract can be used to make a lotion and a cream which can help reduce the muscle and the joint pain and improve the skin health and ease stress and anxiety. Now move on the ways to use eucalyptus. There are two ways we can use daily. The first one is decoction. Study found the aqueous extract of eucalyptus contains a high total phenol contents, total flavonoids contents, and antioxidants. The leaves of the eucalyptus were boiled to prepare tea in various parts of India and South Africa, which was used to cure a cold, sore throat, flu, fever, and diabetes. The second way is distillation. Distillation can help you to make a eucalyptus essential oil and hydrosol. The volatile compounds present the leaves and shoots are 1-acinal or eucalyptol and citronella. In a study, shade-dried samples produced the highest oil yield and 1-acinal content. But the highest content of the 1-acinal is captured from the leaf during the water and steam distillation. Eucalyptus hydrosol can be used as a mouthwash or diluted in the drinking water. Eucalyptus essential oil is not recommended for direct use. It is highly recommended to be diluted for use topically and is not for the internal digestion. So when you try to make the fresh eucalyptus hydrosol, you can do the steam distillation with eucalyptus leaves. Last but not the least, we talk about the safety of eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is generally safe when you're using at a low concentration. And eucalyptus essential oil, as I mentioned before, is not for internal use. If you digest over 3.5 milliliters of oil in a day, it could be fatal. So use eucalyptus essential oil in a diluted form. And it, you should use it carefully on the topical. Due to all of the factors, eucalyptus essential oil should be kept away from reach of the children. Okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something about eucalyptus, its uses, species, and the benefits of its essential oil. Please leave your question and comments down below. This is Dr. Liu at Lee Time. See you next time.